And a very good evening to you, gang. Welcome. It's Sunday, the 1st of May, 2016. A very good evening to you, boys and girls. A night off. Look at this. A Sunday night off. Unheard of. Yes, they've got some bands playing down the pub tonight. So they said, do you mind if you have a night off? And I said, no, not at all. They told me that a few weeks ago. Don't worry. I mean, the very fact that I will not be able to eat now at all. I won't be able to eat now because I've lost a night's work. It's terrible, terrible, really terrible. Yes, it's the 1st of May, which means, of course, we've turned our calendar over. Calendar girl. Can you see that? Our latest Barry Manilow picture on there, boys and girls. Oh, hang on. Let me go back a bit further. There we are. Can you see it now? Can you see it? Look, he's wearing a beautiful white dinner jacket. I think it's a dinner jacket. I can tell it's a dinner jacket because if you look carefully, there is a little bit of tomato sauce just on the left. <laughs> Actually, there isn't. Uh, do you know what? I think you should have a little bit of tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Oh, can you not hear me all right? Let me turn myself up. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I am a bit quiet. How's that? Is that better? Can you hear me all right now? Apologies. Let's say hello to some people while while they're here. Um, if I can get that up, actually, just a minute. Let's see if we get any messages. We've got a, a few uh, few messages to do. I, li I, I like to, to get the messages done as soon as we... There we are. We've got it. Oh, lots of people already. Hello to Peter. Hello to Shania. Hello to Dean. Gary Butler says, good evening, Uncle. Good evening, Gary Butler. International. Gary's there. Uh, we've got Daniel Gannon in Manchester. Terry in Leeds. Jerry's there. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Wendy's there. Mark's there. The Ridden Live. Yes. Daniel Gannon. Oh, you're in London. What are you doing in London? Oh, you're down for the weekend or something. That's cool. Um, Kim's there. Hello, Kim, up in Lincolnshire. Uh, Peter says the sound's all right now. Good. There we are. Sorry about that. Um, I can bend backwards more than that, actually. I can. Would you like to see me do Look, 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 that, that. So I hope, I hope you don't mind. Um, uh, Constantine. Is that Constant Scontantine? Hello, Jerry Green's here. We're all here today. Are you all bored? Is there nothing good on the telly tonight or something? Now, we need a little bit of a tomato sauce stain. Now, I'll put it on the left. There we are. Can you see? I don't know if that might be a bit too... Or is that too far for you to see? Hang on a minute. Look. There we are. It's got, got a... <laughs> you can see that now? Yes. He's got a bit of a tomato sauce stain now where we had a burger before he came on and done the, <laughs> done the concert. Hello, Wayne in Brighton as well. All right. Yeah, so you've got to just... <laughs> so you've got to just imagine Barry Manilow has just had a beef burger. Now, we've got a phone in uh, tonight as well. I'll give you the number very shortly. I think Wendy's going to call in at some... Actually, you can call in whenever you're ready, Wendy. Um, my phone number is 20 3477 It's a local London number, OK, boys and girls? Um, it's not one of those, like, £1.50 a minute... How dear is it now to call directory inquiries? I was listening to an advert the other day, actually, on LBC, I think it was. And um, it, it was something like one... Pay, it was... I, I, but all, all the figures, it was so much to call the number and then so much per minute. And then there was a minimum charge. And it was like five quid. Five quid to find a phone number. I mean, it's outrageous. I used to work at Directory Inquiries. Um, we were based in Wimbledon at the time. The building is no longer... Dead. They turned it into posh flats. I mean, really posh flats. You couldn't afford one of those. I couldn't... Well, maybe I could. Don't know. No, <laughs> we couldn't afford one of these flats. They were horrendously expensive. But um, when we were there, it was directory inquiries. So you rang 142 and we looked up the phone number for you. And at the time, it was British Telecom. And it was completely free of charge. Completely free of charge to find a phone number. Uh, Jamie says that Virgin don't charge anymore. Oh, well, I'm on Virgin. I've got Virgin Broadband. Yes, 2,000. What have I got? 200 meg at the moment. Very, very fast. Very fast. Um, Hello. Who's on the line there? Hello, it's me. Is that young Wendy? Yes, hello, how hello, are you? Hello, Wendy. I hope you don't consider that I've defaced this beautiful calendar that you bought me. But the, the yeah, jacket... The jacket just, looked... to set, just to let you know as well that Eloise took that photo. Oh, did she really? Has it got a name yes. on it? Yes. <laughs> Has it got a name on it anywhere? 
You're breaking up a bit, Chris. Has it got has it got her name on it anywhere? On the back, on the back of the calendar in the credits. Oh, is it? Let me have a look. Hang on a minute. I can't see that. Is that right? Oh, it must be on the back cover, is it? It's on the back of the calendar, on the credits at the bottom, I oh, think. Oh, I can't see. I can't look upside down, dear. I'm Sorry? trying to look. I'm trying to look at it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Well, let me tell you, Wendy is a massive uh, Barry Manilow fan. She tours the country when he comes over here to see her. You, you've been abroad to see him, have you? Chris, you're breaking up. Uh, sounds all right this end. I think it might be a problem you not being able to hear me. Yeah, I've, I'm on a landline, so it should be OK. Yeah. So t you're the lady that uh, travels the country to see Barry Manilow? Yes. Have you been abroad to see him as well? Have I what, sorry? Have you been abroad to see him? No, no, I've never been abroad. Oh, OK. Oh. No, I know you have, though. I have, once or twice, yes, to see Barry yeah. and many other occasions. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Wendy, I get the feeling you wanted to call in about something particular today, did you? Um, only when you were saying about me selling the car to buy the tickets. <laughs> When I was saying about what? When you was when I was when you were saying yesterday about me selling the car to buy the tickets, yes. that's not strictly true. Oh. Have what you... happened was my husband, as you know, was very sick at the time. Right. And we had two cars, so we had to sell one. Yes. Only I sold I spent the money on the tickets, <laughs> which which he wasn't very pleased about. <laughs> 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 they don't understand, do they? I never yeah. forget the first time I went to a Barry concert and I was sitting up in the gods right at the top there and um, I was aware of all these lovely ladies like yourself screaming and everything and husbands, they, they'd they made the mistake of bringing many husbands or boyfriends with them who sat in their seats not quite sure what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> they didn't get up and dance around, but um, that's yeah, well, what... that's what happens when you sat up in the gods, isn't it? You know, you, you know, it's not the hardcore fans up there, is it? No, but we still we still get up and dance, you know. Oh yeah, I know that. I know. Well, well, I did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not long to go now, is it? Before the man no, is here. Not long, not long to go. We're about five, uh, yeah, about five weeks. Is just it over. Five? Have I got it? I haven't even got it marked on my calendar. I'm doing the Cardiff and the London one. That's that's a Tuesday and a Thursday, isn't it? I think. Yes. A Tuesday and a Thursday. Yeah. Yes, it so is. We're, yeah. We're very much looking forward to that. And you know, I really hope he picks you for a little dance. I, I don't well, know. I don't. I, I don't think. I don't think so because we, we're not sort of in the. We, we're not in. Even though we're on front row at the O2 because um, I'm not that far from you actually. Um, yeah. We're in the right block. Oh, we're in the right. We're in the right hand block. I think. Oh, um, the seats. Did you, did you know that the walkway has been removed? You know there was a walkway. It's supposed to be a walkway in the middle um, of the middle block. So they've taken that out. What for more seats? Well, I don't. I don't know the reason, but oh. um, it could be possibly. Yeah. Okay. Because um, it is pretty much sold out, so. It could that could be the reason, but I don't know for sure. Oh, right. Um, but uh, the middle block has been moved forward because yes. you have a platform that comes down from the stage. I'm with her. Down. I'm with you. Yeah, oh, so. so you think me and you, you and me, are possibly in the wrong place to be asked for a dance? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I'd be really angry if it's so. It's one of the others who's already been picked. I shall be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should, you know, maybe w when it gets to that point, maybe we should r jump out of our seats and run to the middle of the stage and put our arms out. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, I think the security men might have something to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget the last the last concert I went to, which was at, um, no, sorry, not was it the O2 one? No, the one at Wembley. Mm. When I went to one at Wembley, and I think I told you this, as I was leaving, uh, I said to the, the, the security lady, who had obviously been having a wonderful time, she'd been I, I was watching her, dancing around herself and smiling. I said, you look like you've had a good night's night. She said, well, pull it this way. Last night we had a little mix. <laughs> <laughs> so she was up dancing to Barry instead. Yeah, that's right, Wendy. Yeah, then, yeah. Gosh. I've, oh. I've seen a few security people get... Uh, 
uh, up and dancing and enjoying it along yeah. with the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has it been it's nice? It's like up... one big party, isn't it? Has it been nice where you are today up in um, uh, Leyland? Up north, where yep. we wear the caps. Up to north, up to north. <laughs> where we wear the floppy caps and have cobbled streets. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's like up there. We've seen it on all the 1960s TV programmes. <laughs> I mean, your your idea of it being posh up there is to get a few different tins of coloured paint and paint each cobblestone a different colour. Then you say that you're posh. <laughs> What's all that about, dear? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear have you ever yeah. have you ever been in a caravan i've been going on and on about this oh, caravan holiday yes I, my my uh, I, I think i've told you this but my grandmother uh used to have a caravan when we were kids right uh but back then it was like they had gas lamps Ga- it, it oh my god you, it was uh, all gas gas lamps oh, is, isn't that still normal up where you live in leyland <laughs> huh I'm surprised you're... How are you watching this programme? Are you around someone else's house, dear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and then, of course, my father's got a, a, a caravan. I told you about that. Yes. He's got a caravan up... Uh, where is it now? Um, not on the northeast coast. Borders? Scotland? Uh, no, no. Um, Newcastle oh, way? Near Scarborough, around there. Scarborough, OK. Bridlington, that, that's, Bridlington. That's not an area I know at all around there. Mm, well, you, you, haven't, you haven't... Yeah, but you haven't told the people. What sort of caravan... Now, is this like the caravan that I described last night? Let me just explain to those people who, are, who might not have been here last night. Um, but I was... I've recently... Last week, I was on holiday at Haven Holidays in... Oh, I can't remember the blooming name of the place again now. Bell... Great Yarmouth. Not, not Belson. <laughs> I was going to say Belson then. It's Belson. Bell it's not Great Yarmouth. Yeah, very near Great Yarmouth. Yeah. And um, it was the first time I've ever stayed in a caravan. I, I was totally blown away by the experience. It was nothing like mm. I expected a pa- caravan to be like. It was like a, your own, your very own mini home. It really was your very, your very own mini hu- mini house. And yeah, inside... Yeah. Is it like- yeah, I said to my dad when I went up to his last time, um, yes. he's changed it since I haven't been to his new one, newer yes. one. Yes. But uh, I said, you know, I could live in one of these quite easily. Oh, yeah. 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 And now I understand the whole mobile phone, uh, m- not mobile phone, the whole mobile home thing. Because it, it was it was just, I have been in one mobile home years and years ago when I was 21. And mm. um, uh, we, we were, I was getting married and we, we had a look at this mobile home and it, I think it was £10,000 or something like that, which at that time was an awful lot of money. That was a lot of money then. But I remember going in this thing and thinking, my God, this is just so nice and warm and cosy in here. Mm. You know, and um, so uh, the the caravan that I was in was just basically like a mobile home up on off up on this. But I'm surprised that the the, the the little things that they are on. I think they're like, oh gosh, oh god, hang on, there we are. Sorry, um, all right. The the little th- do you know? I've got to go and take my pills. I forgot my blooming pills again. <laughs> oh, I've done this last night, didn't I? Um, the little caravans are up on stilts. And these stilts are ever so thin, just little thin bits of metal, Wendy. Yeah. And that's all they are. Funny, mm. isn't it? Hello? I'm still here, yes. I've finished talking. I left a gap for you and you didn't <laughs> fill it. Now, this is a thing. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you just go on and on. But then I leave a gap and no one says anything. <laughs> So what's the point I mean, in stopping? There's you. no point in stopping talking, <laughs> is so there, dear? <laughs> I'm so used to you just whipping on. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I've got to go and take these pills. Do you want to hang there a minute? Uh, yeah, OK. It's very important that I take them on top. I'll yeah, just, what I'll okay, do... Yeah, I, what I, I'll, I, I understand. What I'll just do uh, to fill in is um, I'll play... I'll play my opening video, OK? That's what I'll do. That'll give me a minute and a half. You ready? OK. Or you won't, if you're on Facebook Live, you won't see it. If you're on YouTube, you will see it. So just, just listen to the music, and it gives me a minute and a half to get back down the stairs and up again. You ready? Stay there and go. <laughs>
Hello. There we are. Back Hello. now. Back. <laughs> I'm a devil for doing it. I keep forgetting that. Look, can I just do a couple of messages here? Say okay. hello to a few people. We've got Ed Hall. Hello, Chris. Ed here. Long time no see. Just saw this on Facebook and fascinated. Oh, it's just a few friends around having a little bit of a chat. That's all it is, Ed. Um, uh, hello to Daniel. Daniel's with us in Camberley. He was there last night. Lord Mark Anthony. Now, do you know who Lord Mark Anthony is, Wendy? Any idea? I've seen him comment on your posts on occasions, but I don't know who he is. Right, well, his mum lives three doors down and he cleans my windows. <laughs> <laughs> so often, you know, he's probably... I was just taking a, a swig of tea then. I was nearly joked. <laughs> <laughs> probably you know he's he's been up up the windows here and in my little uh in my little studio i think oh i wonder what goes on in there and now that that this is it this is it mark <laughs> lord mark anthony do me a favor lovely picture of you and your ch uh, and your uh, children was it on a boat in lake or something like that i think he's been on holiday recently as well have you ever been in a um a caravan mark have you been in a caravan? Ronan's here. Ronan doesn't do caravans. He does British Airways business class. He works on the planes there. Hello to Terry H. Terry H is there. Uh, Constantine. Hello, yeah, he's up there. Jamie, Jamie is in Dublin. Hello. All my friends over in Ireland at the moment, Jamie. He's in uh, Cork on a little holiday there because he's just had his 43rd uh, birthday, my friend, um, uh, my friend Ronnie. And uh, let me see if I can... Get any of the others up there. Just do a, a refresh Ronnie. thing. Oh, that's me, isn't it? Hang on. Um, oh, Ronan's going to call in. Yeah, OK, Ronan. Not yet, though. Not until I've... Because uh, we can't do two calls at once, OK? Uh, if you want to call in, it's 020 8144 3477. 020 But remember, gang, I can only do one call at a time. If you call in while I'm talking to someone, uh, it won't get answered. I, 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 the only thing I can do here is leave it ringing. Because we're still waiting to employ a... Um, uh, a, a a producer to answer the phone. Maybe maybe Mark, you could come and answer the phone, or that boy who cleans the windows with you, he could come and answer the phone, couldn't he? Oh, you've been in a caravan. Easter, we were at Bun Leisure. B is that B U W -N, N Leisure? I don't know where that is. Any idea where that is? Anyone? Bun Leisure in a caravan. Whereabouts is that? But definitely, I will I will go again. In fact, Wendy, um, my um, my niece in law uh has already um decided on the dates next year and she's booking it tomorrow oh lovely for may for may and uh my nephew was talking to me about that on the phone also my niece tracy goes to caravans now she usually goes in september and i think i might be going with them as well great no i like to okay. share myself around a little bit wendy do you know what i mean <laughs> lovely <laughs> like, like Barry does with all the girls that he keeps asking. Hello, Sam. <laughs> Sam's there as well. Yeah, oh. I don't just uh, I don't just listen to Barry, you know. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> I know you listen to other people. Oh, that caravan Mark's been in. Oh, because I went to see ELO recently, didn't I? Yes, you did. Sun and, is uh, shining Adele. in the sky. It's a living thing. Da -da 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 -da. That caravan yeah. Mark stayed in is in Selsey, which I know is a sort of Bognor Regis, Chichester, Brucklesham Bay, or Brucklesham Bay way. And um, so that's good. Look, Mark says he can come and answer some phones. I, w I wish it doesn't actually work like that. I, you, there, I'd have to have another little setup. You'd have to go in another room, Mark, with a little window between us. It would all be very professional. And Wendy could come around and make the tea, couldn't you? Yeah, sure. That would be quite nice. Nephew yeah. Jimmy Butler make, joins us I as well. I make a good strong brew as well. Oh, I hope so. Well, you, you know, oh. Northerners know how to make a good, good brew. Well, you know, I take my own tea bags to work now. Oh, oh yes. Oh. What is it, York? What, what is it? What, what do you have? Tea, uh, Thai food? No, uh, Waitrose. Waitrose Gold. Waitrose ah. Gold. Yeah. Yeah, they are strong quite one. strong. Nice, strong cup of tea. Um, yeah. Down. Now, who is it? Someone does fair trade tea. I'm sorry, it's awful. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not very nice at all, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um. Lancashire tea's a bit like that, you know. Is it what? Not nice? Yeah, it's a bit uh, weak, let's put it that way. I was going to say something else then, but... 
What, you mean like cat's piss? You can say yeah. that, because it's, uh, it's after 10 o'clock, dear. Well, I don't think it... It's, you know, it's not swearing, is it? It's only swearing when you say, you can... Off. That's when it's swearing. When you say, oh, it's just like cat's piss, I don't consider that swearing, do you? No, but it's coarse. Is, is it? it coarse? I don't. Is it? Am I? Am I a coarse person? Yeah. I thought I was kind of a little bit more like velvet, really. You know, nice and soft, like to, <laughs> like people to stroke me and that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. Well, it's been lovely talking to you. Oh, Eloise, you want to say hello to Eloise? She's there. Hello, Eloise. Oh yeah, she's just she's. She, was you were you the latest one to have the dance with Barry, or was that Bev? That was Bev. I like that name. That was Bev. Bev. I was so happy. I mean, I was so pleased for Diana and Eloise. Yeah. Uh, but Bev especially because she'd been she'd been waiting a while. She'd been waiting her turn. If you see what if you see what I mean. For how many for years? Quite a while. So I was especially pleased for Bev. How long has she been waiting her turn? Oh, quite a while. Is it forty quite years? A while, from what I know, <laughs> I don't know Bev all that well. I know, uh, and you know, I know Eloise and Diana. Yeah. Oh, but I don't lovely. know Bev all that well, but I do know from conversations that I've seen on Facebook that she's been fantastic in it for a while. So. Fantastic! I was, to... I was really pleased for her. Just fantastic to make the memories. And it genuinely well. pleased am I sad. <laughs> oh well, I'm not Hello? so sure. Of, I'm not so sure about that, Wendy. Are you really pleased? Oh, yes. is there a little, little bit of jealousy yes. in your voice at all, darling? Is there? Pardon? No jealousy in your voice at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, darling. Lovely to talk to you, all right? And you. Take care. You take care. Bye-bye, Wendy. Bye. There we are, Wendy, regular correspondent to the show. She's up in uh, Leyland, which is in uh, Lancashire. Uh, you can call in yourself if you want, 20 8144 Lines are now open, 20 8144 OK? Hello to Chris. He's in the USA as well, catching a live show at the moment. Hello, Chris. Welcome to our live show this evening. And Ronan's on the line. Hello, Ronan. Hello. Good evening. How good are evening. you? All right? I'm good, Thank you, yeah. And tell me, as a British Airways first class camming crew member, what part of our wonderful globe are you speaking? Now, let me guess. Could it be Australia or Singapore or Philippine? Or Philippine? London. London. London? Yes. Oh. oh, I can hear myself coming back. Is that. Um, that. If you've got. Have you got me playing as oh, well? No, no. Was... Oh, no, it's gone now. Has it gone? Yeah, there we go, it's gone. Am I still here? Yeah, you're still there. I can Are you sure I'm still here? Because I'm not sure yeah. myself, to be honest, half the time. <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I'd call in. I, I do watch them now and again, but when normally you're on air, when I'm, I don't have internet, so... I thought well, I'd call in because I got back from Dubai this mo- this afternoon, so... Oh, yes. Now, I saw... Now, was it your pictures I saw of Dubai... Nevertheless, now, I, I, I've i never really been tempted by Dubai. It all looks a bit shopping centre, tall buildings and just sand to me. That That's how it looks um, to me. Um, just, am I wrong? Have we yeah, had this discussion? Yeah. No, we haven't. We haven't spoken right. about Dubai. We've spoken about other places. But no, Dubai's um, a weird place. Um, it's Arabic. It's it's like, it's not, um, it's an Islamic government. Um, but they their whole persona now is they want the west to visit them right so um everything's open you can go to waitrose they've got waitrose there you can buy pork products in waitrose they've got a waitrose in dubai you lied to me yeah they have yep oh i must look this up just a moment please that's okay waitrose dubai (laughs) i find that difficult to believe they have d-u-b-a-i in it let's have a look Oh, so they have. <laughs> yeah, they have. Um, so it's literally... Well, 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 do you think Michelle will be working there? You don't know Michelle in Waitrose, oh. do you? Oh, no. No, she's the one. She was a bit upset with me the other day because I managed to drop a jar of sun-dried tomatoes in olive, olive oil. 
Yeah. They oh. Had, oh, they had to get the special powder out. It's a oh, great, yeah. and it's a massive bag. It's a massive bag of special powder which they have to go because it's possibly the worst. Apparently, it's worse to drop that than it is honey. I find that difficult to believe. Yeah, because it's oil, isn't it? So it literally just makes everything <laughs> like an ice rink. Because I've done that before. Yeah, that's uh, you've done it as well. At, at work, I've dropped oil, and literally the minute you drop olive oil, oh gosh, it's, it's you, it takes ages for it to dry out, and that's um, on a plane. So. I'm surprised lads haven't gone in there and started smashing those. I don't know if you ever saw any of the uh, videos uh, sort of around this time last year. Oh, they... were people going into supermarkets and smashing, like, bottles of milk? And... That's right. Well, they were getting cartons of milk or bottles of milk. Uh, I don't even know what bottles. They were getting cartons of milk, then throwing them up in the hair, watching them fall, and then throwing themselves on the floor, pretending to have had an accident in oh, Asda and places like that. Oh, it was hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah, no. I try and avoid them sort of places. But going back to caravans... Yes. Because that got... I've are stayed there, in a few. Are there any um, caravans in Dubai? No. Are they air-conditioned? Are they, like, stacked up on top of each other? No. That, that, but actually, we'll continue with Dubai because we're on that. Um, Dubai's really nice. They've got some really old parts. You can go to the museums. There's loads of museums. They've got... You name it, you could do it there. They've got some... Um, the beaches are good. Um, it is a lot of its shopping malls, but it's... It's, it's a country you, I would it's Marmite you like it or hate it right I, I, you, I honestly don't think I'd like it there uh, I, I, I thought that I thought that until I, I went there for the first yeah. time yeah I've just had a little message here from someone Dawn hello Dawn it's lovely lovely that you're with us today now Dawn um, uh, used to come along to my Monday 70s and 80s nights at the Black Cap at, uh, oh okay yeah early 90s and she says they're not so keen on people who dance on our side of the ballroom Chris don't go to Dubai. Stay here with your Barry Manilow calendar. What do well, you say I, to that? I don't know. I think because I dance on that side of the ballroom, so I, I think it's no, quite, really. Yeah, it, yeah, I do. It's quite a harsh. <laughs> it's quite a harsh comment to make because okay, it's a bit like people say in our country, or oh, if people come here, they should respect our culture. So if we go somewhere else, we should not go down to their level and not. Yes. So over there, like. There was in Morocco, there was two men arrested for hugging and kissing in the street. Yeah, oh, well, I wish I could find someone to hug and kiss me, dear. Well, yeah, well, fair. But it's more down to the point is, you know you shouldn't do it. If you're... Have the the Emiratis will turn a blind eye to most things. Right. Like, even on the beach. Remember that, that couple got arrested, the man and the woman on the beach in Dubai? For oh, having yeah. sex. I remember that, yeah. 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 The policeman told them to stop and walked away. He came back ten minutes later. And they were still at it. And they were still at it. So they really are tolerant. Like they'll let you get away with not Yeah. They, they, they would they would turn a blind die to most things, but the minute you step past well, that mark. Yeah, I mean it's the same to be honest, it's the same as um when I've been in in nightclubs, not not recently. I don't go out, I haven't gone out for years now. But I used to go to a club in in um, Clerkenwell called Turnmills. Okay. The night was called Trade. And um, there'd be all sorts going on in there. And the do- I, 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 I always remember a doorman in there. Um, he was a nice bloke. And I said, how's it going today? Oh, he said, they're so stupid. I said, why? He said, well, take, for example, there were two people doing something. I won't say what it was. They were doing something in there. He said, I, I went up to them and looked. And I stood there and they looked at me. But instead of stopping, they carried on doing what they were doing. So I had to chuck them out. You know, how yeah. stupid can you be? Is, Often these like... doormen, they don't actually want to chuck you out. They went, oh, look, OK, you know, making a t- bit too much noise. Calm down a bit and we'll leave it at that. But they don't. Yeah. They stand there and they argue. And people don't. And British people are probably some of the most arrogant for when we're abroad. We yeah. think everything should be our way. But when they like there, I've never had anyone be homophobic over there. I've never had anything like that. And two men can share a room over there. Right. But then you couldn't share a room with a woman that's not married to you. Right. Do you think because... Do you think there'd be anyone to share a, a room with me at all, Ronan? Well, I'm sure someone would come. I mean, you know, I've, I'm, I'm starting to think about sending begging letters to football players and that sort of thing. I don't know if that would work <laughs> or not. You know, no, offering, offering money. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'm sure there'd be people that would. And it's more about, I think... Travelling is more about respecting other cultures, and yeah. Dubai is probably not the best place for the Islamic culture. But experience in the Middle East is 
because you've been to Israel, haven't you? I have indeed, and um, that's, that's the Middle East. I don't know why we don't seem to class that as the Middle East, it's, Israel, but I've indeed it is, once. yeah. And, um, I, you know, I have to say, I went into a synagogue one Friday. I've never been in one before, so I thought, I'll have a look in here as I was walking around Tel Aviv, and I started taking photos. And um, uh, 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 a, a, well, I don't know if it was a rabbi, or so was it just a Jewish person? A Jewish person came up to me and says, oh, can you stop that, please? I said, oh, I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to offend anyone. He said, no, you can take photos, only not now, because it's their um, uh, their time of, or what's it called now, when they don't do any work. Yeah. What's that called? Is it Sabbath? Oh, is that Sabbath? Sabbath, that's it. It is, OK. So it was a Sabbath. He said, please don't take I said, oh, I'm very, very sorry to it. I didn't mean to offend. I'll delete them straight away. He said, no, don't delete them, because that's classed as work as well. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So You don't, yeah, it's just... And it's best just respect what yes. other and people after, believe. After I apologised, he was ever so nice. He says, um, he says, come back tomorrow if you want to. Take as many pictures as you want. He says, um, if, you need to want, if you want to know anything about Tel Aviv or Jerusalem or Israel, come in and ask me and I'll, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll help you with whatever. He was ever so nice. Yeah. But you see, that's what you mean by respecting but someone else's got thing, to respect. isn't it? If someone just says no, don't argue. Just go, OK. Just act. The best thing is act dumb. Yeah. Act dumb to it. Yeah. I'd say, oh, sorry, I didn't know. Because the minute you say that, they're like, oh, OK, don't worry. Are you good Carry at acting on. dumb, are you? I, uh, I've, I've got into some situations where the best thing to do is just put your head down and just say, OK, yes. no worries. Yes. Because you get a lot of people that just want to have an <laughs> argument. You didn't You didn't fall for that one, did you, dear? No, I didn't. No, I was continuing with the conversation. <laughs> like that. Uh, Daniel wants to know, what do we mean by dancing on the other on, side of oh. the ball? Oh, d- d- just ignore him, dear. Oh, okay, okay, no, yeah. he, he's, uh, he, he likes to wind you up, uh, Daniel. Went down. I mean, he lives in Camberley next to this dreadful Tesco's place. Oh, to... gosh. Oh, it's what horrendous. Is Tesco's? Hey? No, joking. I, I mean, it is. It's very. Actually, we went in there. Me and Ronnie went in there the other day. And what did we go in there to buy? Grass seed because it was really cheap, and uh, <laughs> they didn't have any in there. It's all. It all seems to have been changed around in there. They've they've certainly got rid of a lot of stuff. I yeah, think... have you been to Whole Foods? Whole Foods. Foods. Where's that? It's and there's one in Fulham. There's one in Knightsbridge. It's really nice. It's very. It's an American brand, but they've got some in the UK. They, no. it's very, they do like all organic. Everything is organic. Oh, right. No, I um, don't know that. I don't know. It's Whole very Foods. nice. You should have a. You should probably go go with Ronnie. Ronnie would like it as well. Okay. Yeah, we um, could go go on one of our outings because we've actually got an outing in a couple of weeks. Because you would is, like um, it because you could film there and it'd be because they do all very. It sounds. It's they do all very weird stuff like anything that Waitrose, Tesco's don't sell. They would have. Oh like, right. Okay. Have, I'm not sure if they have them in the UK ones, but in the US they have peelless oranges. So the orange has already been peeled for you. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, because it all gets so messy. Doesn't matter how careful you are; it's all messy and sticky, and it. I hate it. I hate yeah. peeling oranges. I'd much. I'll be honest with you. I'd much rather have a bag of fudge, you know, oh, vanilla fudge, yeah. fudge. Oh, I do like fudge. Yeah. Some more yeah. messages here. Daniel says you didn't answer. Oh, shut up, Daniel! You must know what we mean by dancing on the other side of the ballroom. God's sake. Uh, Wayne, Wayne is with us. He says he loved trade. I love trade. Oh, my God. We used to get there at half past three in the morning. Dance. What time? Half past three in the morning, we used to get there. That's when it opened. Gosh. And we'd dance until one o'clock in the afternoon. How do you do that? I, I, I get to about 4 a.m. and I'm like, OK. Oh, can't do it now. There's oh, no, 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 never even when there's like... no way I could do that now. In fact, I, d- I, don't, I don't take any more DJing jobs now because they finish so blooming late. Um, two o'clock is my limit now, and I only want to do that once a week. Gen- generally, I have one late night, two o'clock. Then they're, they're either 10.30, 11.30, oh, 12 or 1.00. So I, I, there's no way I could dance now until like one in the afternoon. No, I, really I, couldn't. I couldn't even do that. I right really now. couldn't. DJ Crucial's trying to read. DJ Crucial, um, I, I am on a call at the moment, so I can't take yours at the same time. Please hang up and call in after I've finished uh, chatting to Ronan. All right, <laughs> no, you need to, you do need a producer. I d- well, yeah, even That's so, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to think. It's, it's, it all comes through on the same Skype. So even oh. if I was talking to you, we couldn't take another one and put it on hold or anything like that. Not unless you spent um, shit. Oh, <laughs> not not unless you spent an awful lot of money on having like a, a switchboard and things like that. And I don't <laughs> think this program uh, really. Um, what? What's the word? 
is 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 big enough to do any of that. Really. Currently, it's not currently big <laughs> enough because it's the, the the cup is half full, not half empty. Oh, Daniel says he he will be the one to hug and kiss me. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Dawn, she picked up on that. I, I nearly said something other than heaps of money. I was going to let loads of money. Loads oh, of money. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I do try and keep it clean, as you well know, boys and girls. Unlike some of the bucket mouths on here, dear. Horrendous. <laughs> Horrendous. I, I, sometimes I do think I look at the chat and I'm like, gosh, how do these people uh, <laughs> go to day to day? But no, it's um, going back to the caravanning. Caravanning, yes. Talk it, yeah. about caravanning. I, I've been a few times and every time I was absolutely appalled. Oh, because, really? Yeah. I'm not sure if when you were younger you had the Butlins boys or the Haven boys. Now, wh- wh- when are we talking about now? Even when I, when I was 1990s. 1990s, okay. Yeah, so so we're, have... we're still talking 20 years ago nearly, aren't we then? Yeah, but no, not right. when I went. And I've been recently to caravanning. But when right. I was younger, I always used to go to Butlins. Butlins was like, my mum was like a gold card holder there, equivalent there. We used to go a couple of times a year, brilliant. Right. And then probably about six years ago now, we went to Haven. Mm. I would never I would never go again. Which one did you go to? One in Great Yarmouth at the end. Well, it must um, be the same one as us. Yeah, seashores or seashells or sea... Uh, on oh, Caisters. Caisters. Was it, it Wild Duck or Caisters they've got there? Caisters, that's it, sorry. Was it Caisters? It, might, it could be. One of them, anyway. Hello, Ray. Ray's with us. Ray Reynolds. Hello, we Ray. Went, and it was like this time of year, it was a bit cold. Yeah. And I was absolute... It was just not my thing. Right, OK. Because I like to wake up in the morning... And breakfast to be in a lift away. In not, a what? Not across the holiday park. Well, you know, we were, these these caravans were self catering. Oh yeah, but I don't. Me and my mum don't do self catering. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, no, so you you can get breakfast, but it, you're right. It's in another room. You know, you've yeah, got to walk to it. And it's sort of just something. I think they can be very overpriced for what they are. If you get a good deal, they're very good. But I looked because me and my mum are off to St Lucia next month. Oh, I've been there, yes. Yeah, we looked. Butlins or Haven was about £1,500. Even if we paid full price for everything, going to St Lucia, it was about £1,000. Right, OK. And I just don't know how... Yeah, but you get the flights for nothing, don't you? No, but I mean, even if we paid full price for the flights, we looked at, like, just packages comparing. Oh. It was about £200 more, £300 more to go to um, Haven. Well, for the week I've just been away... Monday to Friday, um, we're, we're, we're at low se- we were at low season. That's cost £200 for that caravan. Oh, OK, that's good. Monday it's to Friday. So I'm looking now, at high season. if you go, there's, there's a date in July we looked at as well that goes from £200 to £450, right? But yeah. that, again, you are being charged per caravan, not per person. So if I went on my own, it's going to cost me 450 If I took three other people, it still costs us 450 oh, So. No. But, if you but it's, it's like, not your like, thing, obviously. So no, it's not. It's like it's really. I was it not? Was it not warm in your caravan? Did you have central eating? Well, it it did, but it was very, um, very useless. And oh, my mum, you must, my you mum, must. Oh, mum, I, I know mum, what the problem is here, dear. You got the standard one, didn't you? Probably. You got the um, standard probably, one. Probably. I had the prestige, dear. Prestige yeah, one. Prestige. You've got to have. Look, yes, it's here. I've don't... got the leaflet here. Hang on a minute. Carry on, chat, chat. Yeah, but it's I, I I liked it like if I got a standard room at XYZ Hotel, yeah, it's gonna be good. I expect that like if people if they want people to go on holiday have you ever heard of Potter's Holiday Park? Um I have, but I don't know about it. Tell if me. If you about look it. into it, it's basically it's ridiculous. It's very expensive. A lot of celebrities take their children there. Oh right. Um, it's very nice, half board or all inclusive, and it's in the UK. But then you get there and it's cold, like because there's no sun. And uh, well, I that's on... how it is in this country, isn't it? I know, and that's why I don't go. But on but right, but there's no mucking around in airport. 
No paying a fortune to park your car. No sitting on a plane for hours on end. No waiting for your cases to go round oh, the carousel. Complain, Chris. You, no going you... through passport control. No going through security and no getting at the other end and then thinking, oh, now how do I get to the hotel? No, you get in your car, you put your case in, you drive to the place, you park next to the caravan, you then pick up your case and you're in two and three that years later. True. That is very true. Bloody but wonderful. Think... Look, here's pictures. Get, oh, you can't see at the moment. Can you see the pictures? I can't, you can't I've see. You, I've got you on my... Oh, have um, you? Yeah, but it's, there's a bit of a delay. There so... will be a bit of delay. But there's some of the smaller caravans on there. They're like the, the very small ones. I had the slightly bigger one. And um, oh, inside, I mean, they're just... It's the, it's the inside. That's inside a caravan. If oh, you can see that on the see, screen, see, that got... definitely did not. That did not look like ours. Well, you you obviously went. Oh, no, they've changed a lot apparently in the last ten years. They really are like small houses. Let me just try and hold that. I've I'm been just to trying to hold it to the screen. There. See, that's one thousand three hundred and seventy. What is? One of them there. It was no, like you the don't country. even know what that number means, do you? All you do was sort a figure in front of you. Now that one thousand three hundred. What I'm holding up there is. Yeah information about actually buying your own caravan oh, okay. I was say. and if you were to let that out for um five weeks of the year that yeah. would bring in 1370 pounds oh okay but right. because i did pick up a leaflet um because i thought you know this, this is really good this I was so impressed. Uh, I wonder how much it costs to buy. And you can buy one for... You can buy the smallest one, brand new, for about £18,000. Yeah. Right? Now, uh, that is a lot of money, I know, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't sound too bad. All sorts of way of paying, either cash or monthly or take a loan with someone else or whatever uh, the one thing you don't do is take a loan with the same people because I w that that we worked out you'd be paying another 10 grand on top of that so you yes. go to the bank and take a loan now apart from the cost of a hotel or, 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 or of of a caravan say 18 grand you've also got your site fees now these work out to about four and a half five thousand pounds a year but break that up into weekly, and that works out to, say, 50 to £60 pounds a week. That oh, is good. to have your own caravan on there, which you could get back by letting it out a little bit here and there. On the other side of the coin, right, what is the point of buying your own caravan which is yours, so you open the door, and everything in there is nice. It's nice to... It's, it is yours. That's a nice feeling, right? So what's yeah. the point in buying your own one and then letting it out to other people? Well, I guess if, I guess some people might not be able to afford to not let it out. So, so why buy one? The well, other thing is, of course, £18,000. Although that doesn't sound too bad, over a period of time, if you were to go high season for... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would take you 16 to 20 years to get back that £18,000. So oh. actually, you're better to just go on holiday, pay your £200, £300, £400 yeah. for a week's holiday, and then come back again. That's if you do. Now, if you were going sort of, I don't know, for four months at a time, then yes, it's worth it. But who can take a time off work for four months? I can't. No one. And that's... Um, but no, I, it's, it's a good idea. If you enjoy going on holiday in Britain, I think it's brilliant. I prefer going to cities or countryside in the UK for a couple of nights at a time. Fair enough. Like I did Manchester weekend. I've done Edinburgh yeah. for a weekend, Newcastle weekend. And I just like to do that on weekend, like sort of as a small time. So I find for myself, I find it very hard to... Um, and because I've lived on the East Coast as such, like... I it is cold. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, I know uh -huh. it's cold. The other thing is we've got an age difference here. You're 21, 20? Yeah. You're, yep. tw you're 20, 21. I'm 53. I've done it. I've done the flying to places, yep. and I've had a wonderful time, you know? So I'm seeing something different now. And maybe when you get to 50, you'll feel the same. But, 
but would but I, I guess for you you would still like to go to other places and experience other things i do like go to go to other places what it is ronan i can't bear i can't stand the traveling i can't really? stand it i really can't and it doesn't matter how good that seat is on the plane you know whether you're buying the expensive one and going to lovely lounges and that i've still got to get to these places and it's just such a pain it really is yeah a lot of people say that but it's I think I always say before before I end up in a wheelchair, I want to have seen most of the world. And I understand that, as I have already done. You know, yeah, I've done a that's lot. That's good because that's the thing. You always, I, I, I never, I, I always say to people, I'm young, but from what's happened to my family in the past few months, you do not know when that's going to end. No, no, you, you don't. don't know when you. You know, you that, could you could come home. My nan was in uh, Mauritius. Or was it Mauritius or the Maldives in September? She passed away in January. But at least she had a nice holiday before she went. Yeah, eh? she did. She had a, they, they used to go away every twice a year to the Caribbean, Maldives, Seychelles, and all of them. But yeah. it's she said like she came back and she kept forgetting things, and she was like, but she didn't remember she was forgetting, and then she had a brain tumor. But uh, you just do not know when you're going to be told by a doctor you've got a couple of weeks. No, you don't. I could and, I could die now. I could yeah, die you, halfway well, through this program. I, I hope mean, you the, don't because and the worry is, you know, you're still on the phone. You'd have to carry on because you know we've still got another forty-five minutes to okay, do. Okay, so I'll, I'll carry on. I'll. I'll you don't. Shall I pretend to be dead now? <laughs> right, okay. Shall, okay. Go. Okay. So this evening, um, I'll be watching the comments on the uh, Facebook video while Chris is. Um, Currently, if someone could call 999 to begin with. Oh, no, don't tell them to do that. For Christ's sake, people will start calling it, dear. <laughs> oh, okay, We're getting don't... terrible trouble. <laughs> terrible, terrible <laughs> trouble. Don't say that. That's okay. like, you know, standing in the middle of the pub and shouting out fire. Never, oh. ever do that. <laughs> They're not happy. Or, and I'm not even going to say this, you know what some of them, and they think it's funny to walk through the security at airports and say that they've got a bomb in their bag. Not funny. Yeah. It's not, not funny, I've, I've not clever, and there's a good chance you won't even get on the plane if you try that one. You get no, but you get people on board and they'll say stuff, and you're like, "It's not funny." It may be funny, but it's not. At this it's not point funny. In time. It's not funny you, because it doesn't. It doesn't bother me because you just know, like in your head, like as they always say, your gut instinct is always right, and normally it is. Like, yeah. But for other passengers, if people are nervous, the last thing they need to hear is someone saying anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm it's, a bag of nerves all the time, as you can well tell, dear. Oh, oh, you're not a bag of nerves. I've seen your karaoke video. I still need to come down. Are you karaoke in tomorrow? I am, yes, at Central Station, Wharfdale Road, King's Cross from 8 o'clock. What time do you start? 8 o'clock. 8 I may o'clock. Pop down, I may pop down for a and, and cheap lemonade. drinks tomorrow. Cheap drinks. How much is a cheap drink? Uh, I think it's £2.80 for a pint. I don't drink up, um, beer, sorry. Oh, well, what do you drink, then? <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> Christ, another pisshead. Oh, sorry, did I say that word? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, hush oh, my I'm, mouth. I'm not. I'm not. It's just, I, I don't know what it is with beer. I don't like... It's. I've never enjoyed it. Beer is just not... Cider and spirits are perfect. Right. But no, I'll try and pop down, because I'm off tomorrow, but I okay. start work Tuesday, but... It's an, I early, st- it's an early finish. It's 11.30 finish on a Monday, OK? Oh, that's good. I can get the train home even. No. So, yeah, I'll miss it. If, I'll have a look on your Facebook and I'll get the details. I might, I'll probably get a friend to come along as well. We'll, uh, a chaperone. Do, a chaperone. Perone. I'll get someone to chaperone me there. So, cause, oh, he's, he's a laugh. He'll do karaoke. All right. Well, so. it'd be nice to meet you after yeah, all this so, stuff, yeah, Ronan. Nice so Can I'll you come in in your, in, your, in your British Airways uniform? Because no, no, it's all... Awesome. And your hair and all that, you know. I'll, I'll be making sure my hair is on point. But any other than that, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for calling Thank in. Bye-bye, okay. Ronan. Bye-bye. Lovely again. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Bye-bye, Ronan. Ronan, who doesn't enjoy caravans. He don't know what he's missing. We love caravans. Let's do some messages. Da- Daniel says you die on air a lot, Chris. You don't know. No. You don't need to tell me these things. I already know that, Daniel. Uh, Dawn says, what list celeb is taking their kids to a caravan park in the UK? I don't know. Is, it, is, there, a, is there a celebrity taking their caravan, uh, their children to a park? I don't have a problem with that. There's nothing wrong with caravans. I wish I'd gone years ago. I really, really do. 
Um, Peter says you uh, that Peter said Ronan was hard work. No, he's all right. He's all right. Peter reckons he was hiding in a tent. And um, Dawn says, come to Brighton. We're not fussy there. <laughs> We've got another call coming in here uh, from a mobile. Who's that, please? Chrissy baby. Who's that? Oh, my God. You don't know who it is. No, I try no, and I ring do. you, and you just reject me. Like, it's well out of order, mate. What's oh, going well, on? Get on with it, dear. Is that Vectis? <laughs> How are you? You are right? Is it Vectis? I'm sorry? Who is it? Deck collectors? No, I'm not a deck collector, mate. No, 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 no. Not it's deck. DJ Crucial. Hello, darling. Oh, good evening. Andy. Hello, Andy. Andy? Was it Andy? DJ Crucial? What's your name? It's Jay, you nutter. Jay, what? sorry, Andy, oh. not Jay. Oh. Jay, Andy, <laughs> Andy. Hello, Andy, how are you? All right? Oh, all right, yeah, not too bad, not too bad at Pandy, do you know what I mean? <laughs> nice to hear you, sir. How's things, you all right? Ever so well, thank you very much. Just uh, chatting to a few friends, you know how it is. By the way, Boz and Girls, I meant, I meant to tell Go you, on, just... um, if you're watching on Facebook, you will get a better quality... Uh, picture if you watch on YouTube and if you're not so worried about typing messages watch on YouTube simply go to youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK and then you'll see where it says live now click on there and that will burst and it fills up your whole screen with my and ugly you can face. watch the Diamond Geezer on YouTube and oh, you can yes. see my beautiful nice things actually, behind Chris, me I've got to say uh, behind you that Cliff Richards actually got his hair back that's quite nice He's what did you say then there, what did you um, say Cliff Richards got his hair, look, behind you in the picture. That's not Cliff Richards. It's no. Barry Manilow, dear. Are you oh, stupid? Oh, sorry. It's Barry Manilow. <laughs> I'm not you How are. stupid can you be? <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with Cliff Richards. I quite like his stuff as well. Credit where credit Chris, is due. I love you so much, seriously. Credit you're, where I, credit you're is due. You're an absolute legend. I've, I've got to tell you, though, quickly, before any, any quick, right? Yeah. Um, I've, I had an absolutely amazing night last night, right? Because you know normally where I DJ, I DJ in a lap dancing club. Obviously, I won't mention no names, right? Yeah. But I do that like, week in, week out, and it's very, very boring. Everyone thinks it's a very glamorous job, but it isn't. Do you know what I mean? I, no, don't I can believe, it. I can believe it's strictly. boring, yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I got booked to do by my mate. Uh, it's my mate's girlfriend's friend, okay, just confused matters, to do his gig in Felton. So I'm in Kent, they're all the way in Felton. So I've jumped to Reading before, so I kind of know the sort of logistics and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I turn up in Felton, uh, my mate, we go shopping around all the girl shops because he's the other half, wants a necklace. So oh. I'm walking around in Felton, and he's dressed like a chav in a tracksuit, which is quite mad. Um, we go in Asda. He decides that he wants to rearrange all the, uh, I think the candles with letters on. You know, you get the, you know, the, you get the, the plates with letters on. Yeah, yeah, the candles. yeah. Candles with letters. Uh, so, yeah, spell out something. I love uh, a certain word beginning with P and ending with Y, but you get the idea. I won't say it. He wants to originally try and spell out another word, but fortunately we didn't. A woman moaned at him, and it's all crazy anyway. So we get to his gig, and uh, it, I'll tell you what, it's one of the best ones I've done, and it was r honestly absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I had a really, really good time last night. So, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing from that still, So, which is Well, nice. I can hear it. But where, yeah, where, yeah. Where, how, did, <laughs> how did we get from Candles to the gig? What, what was the connection there? Right, so basically... Did I the went woman to turn the, up then at your place? No, 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 my mate, my mate, my mate, uh, Dave, basically, I said to, said to him, I'm going to come down early, because obviously I don't know what the traffic's going to be like, you know what the M3's like, and get gooned sometimes, oh, it and depends, yeah, completely yeah. snookered, right? Yeah. So I went down really early, went, oh, we'll go shopping, so that's why we end up in Felton Town Centre, for, for his other half, to look for a necklace and sandals, and he's going around taking pictures of all these necklaces and whatever else, and we thought, oh, the way it looks, I just don't know. Seriously, you look like he's probably coming out as a drag queen. It was that bad, seriously. Um, <laughs> and we end up in Asda after that because he had to get some rich tea, biscuits and milk for his, uh, his other house mum and dad. Yeah. And that's how we got to the candles bit where we, re we rearranged them. I didn't realise he'd done it until the woman said, oh, if my daughter saw this, have you got a screw loose and all that? And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe it's a joke, but it's not that bad. Do you know what I mean? It's not an actual swear word. Yes, Do you know what yes, I mean? It could yeah, be talking yeah. about anything. And, you know, just the way she approached it was possibly not the best way. And ran, and ran the corner, you go around the corner to the card section, there's a monkey with a banana in a very provocative way. Do you know what I mean? It just like... It, it was crazy, seriously. The most maddest place I've been into. If you ever, for anyone from Felton, I do apologise, but it's like Basildon, but probably worse. Seriously, it's really, really it looks rough around there. Oh, Basildon's there terrible. Go. I worked in this. So there, there weren't bad people or anything. I worked in this place there for a while called Colours. Oh, yeah, I know it, was, you did. it was just so boring in there. It I know. really guess, was. Guess I... who I was seeing with the other day? Go on. 
I was thinking with uh, Nigel. Do you remember Nigel? Nigel. We've um, talked about this before. Chris, I know you're 53 and you don't look 53, by the way. That's shocking. That shocked me. You don't look 53, mate, just to say. 54, but basically, closer to 60 yeah, than 40, dear. It's dreadful. What's the... <laughs> it is. I'm closer to 60 than 40. That's the worry, dear. Oh, no. I could peg I out any minute. 53. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares. I could peg out any minute. Any Yo, no, I don't. No, don't say that. Seriously, you honestly, I watch your. I don't. I'm not. I'm having, I, I don't follow like regularly, but I follow when I can, kind of thing. Oh, I watch really? your TV shows because I'm quite busy with Did, work and stuff. So you don't um, follow. But what you do is amazing. You don't follow regularly. No, well, I follow. Well, just a minute. Just a minute. Enough. Just a minute. I'll take a note of that. <laughs> DJ Crucial. You, Chris. Chris. No, you just a minute. Can I just when write? You, when you're busy. I need. I keep not on your post and that. I need to write down this. Just a minute. DJ Crucial, <laughs> remove from friends <laughs> Thank you. Carry oh, on, Chris, dear. I love you so much. You're such a legend, seriously. You really are. <laughs> it's all about having a bit of a laugh. You're We're not too serious. I mean, if I saw candles in Asta, I'd probably change the words around, you know, something to, to something like uh, Chris Reardon or something like that to get my name around a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? So, but it's just the way she reacted and all that. But yeah, I was, anyway, going back to going back to where he was, where you used to play at Colour Team Basildon, which was where, which is where I started my career right. as well. Um, initially, um, yeah. So I was sitting with the one, the original DJs, Nigel for, uh, from Colours, and yeah, we were oh, sitting yes. there talking no, about, hang on a talking minute. about yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So Ni- Nigel, Nigel took over from me. Now that would have been nineteen. 19- 92, thereabouts. 1992, because I started it in Romford. Uh, no, yeah. no, incorrect. I didn't start it. I was employed by the people who started it. I think his name was Steve. Nice bloke, anyway. Uh, and then it finished in Romford about a year later. I went to Basildon, but it didn't really work. It certainly didn't work at first there. So I left that, mm. and then uh, Nigel was the like l- bloke who took over from there, wasn't he? Is he yes. is he doing that again now, then, there, or what? No, 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 no. He's, he's fully retired, so basically he, he's... Uh, he's an amazing person seriously in a sense of like you know someone who's like very obsessed with something he's very obsessed with music i mean like overly obsessed but it's yeah. phenomenally amazing like in a sense of he's got a database he's got honestly he's converting stuff over at the moment to a file format called flack and uh, for anyone that doesn't Flak? know out there Flak, that? yeah Flak. flack f-o-a-c flack is a lost first format so you know you've got like MP3, oh, right, flax yeah. another version of that, but uh, it's like CD quality. So you wear MP3 compresses and you lose some of the sound. A bit like mini discs did back in the day. They take frequencies out so that you wouldn't necessarily notice. Mini discs were can... mini discs were very good, but for some reason they just didn't catch on. I don't understand why they were a really I good. I think format, I know why because basically Denon was the only one to make a, a DJ say a twin deck with a twin mini disc deck right. which is very rare yeah um but not really anyone else did but like in a sense of pioneer didn't jump on the bandwagon with mini disc because of four i don't I, I think the reason it just didn't take off um it's because cd was still quite popular and cd had been embedded in the industry a bit like vhs and Betamax. right the I'm story behind it. vhs and beats yeah. uh the reason why Betamax max didn't take off as you know well i don't know if you do know uh it's because a certain content wasn't allowed on Betamax, max but it wasn't vhs right so that's why vhs took off basically but yeah, he's uh, he's yeah, he's very very uh, implicitly uh, well. I would say very obsessed with his music. It's nice though. He's got hobby. It's hobby to him, and converting everything to flak. So he calls all his uh, music over to flak format, and the quality is absolutely amazing. The wow. only thing I don't like that he does though, if I take some vinyl over to him and say, "Can you digitise it for me?" Because he's the only person I know that can do that. Because uh, I don't have a I don't have a record deck. Um, is he takes all the pops and all the clicks and all the originality? Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? He, li- he likes it perfect sounding. I understand that. Yeah, yeah I, but I can it, understand it, it kind of, for me, it kind of takes the edge away from the track. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. But there you go. But that's it. I'm, I'm really surprised you're 53, though, to be fair. You don't look it at all. I thought you was a lot younger than that. How old are you? 35 this year. Oh, are you? Oh, OK. Mm. OK. Well, yeah. I, I, I never thought I'd still be... I, I must admit, I got I got really bored with the DJ in a couple of years ago now. And... Yeah. Um, uh, I, I don't want to do that much anymore. I've got a couple of nights that are okay because they're very, mm. fairly easy nights. But to actually DJ in a club now, I wouldn't want to do that again. 
I just would not no, I don't blame do that you. anymore. I don't blame you. At the end of the day, you've got your karaoke. It. But I didn't, I didn't think business, I'd be... And that's fine, isn't it? You I know? didn't think I'd still be doing it at 40, 35 or 30, you know. I got to, mm. I got to about 50 and I thought, oh, I can't be bothered to do this anymore. Really can't. I find it boring. Whereas with the karaoke and the quiz nights, you can get really involved with people and, and have a bit of a laugh, you know. I mean, you, yeah, you, you know, enjoy that. And, you enjoy that it, heavily, though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and, and it's the moaning that used to get to me. You know what I mean Mate, by that. Still happens. Come up yeah, it and still happens. Just can you play it moan. next to the common one I'm getting now? And it really, really, I won't swear, but it really annoys me. Yeah. What do Probably. they say? Uh, you know, oh, have you got this? Oh, can you take this off? No one likes it. And you look down and the whole and the whole place is dancing, except this one person who doesn't like yep. that particular song. Yep. Oh, and they go on and on and like, just go away. Just <laughs> go away. <laughs> but it never used to be like that. People never no. used to be like that. They'd come in to listen to all the new music. Um, yeah. Uh, but now you can't play anything new because they just say, have you got anything we know? Oh, go away. Go away. You know away. what? I've had exactly the same conversation, right, yeah. with Nigel as well. Um, and basically, I mean, I can generally see it from, like, possibly the last 10 years that over time, I think the internet has had a big impact. YouTube's definitely, it's, YouTube's a good thing, don't get me wrong. But the way things work in the sense of the DJ industry hasn't had a very positive impact. No. Uh, because stuff gets released before we can possibly even get it, you know, from a legal form. Yes. I don't condone legal damage at all, but the only way to, to technically do it is to yeah. do it illegally. Yeah. So, in a way, the music industry is encouraging it. Do you know what I mean? It's just a, a long going thing. But also, mixing as an art form is not even... I mean, unless you go to, like, DMC special competitions. But generally, mixing as an art form is just out of the window now. And it is out the window. It, unless you're it a is, DJ, you no, know? No, it is out the window, because you put a mix of something on, and you mix into something else, and you mix into something else, and then, and then, and then they come up and say, oh... Have you got the original? They're not interested yeah. in the slightest. Not no, interested. I, yeah. Totally but, get that, mate. Totally get that. And, it, and it's know? just, that's where the art form went. I used to do the whole night mix. It was just like one long track. I couldn't do that now. Can't, no. Couldn't do it. Not, not because I can't, sorry, that's slightly. You can't do that now because they don't want it. Unless you're in no. maybe ministry or somewhere like that. Do you know what really annoys me, though, right? I mean, I understand, like, the, you know, I embrace technology. I work in the trade, right? Yeah. So I work in technology trade, and I embrace it heavily. Yeah. But what frustrates me more than anything, I'm not mentioning our brand names here, but certain pieces of software that people use, and it mixes it for you. It's got a sync. When I, I mean, the kit I use has got a sync button. I've got it disabled. I will refuse to use it. will never ever use it. Well, because at the end of the day, I believe it's taking it away. I'm using mm, the kit purely as a, as, a, as a tool, and that's it, you know? I've, I've tried that. I have tried that. And mm. what I would say is it mixes it perfectly some of the time. But other yes. times, it gets the beat, you know, you know you've got like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So it's got to mix one, two, three, four, one, two. And it might go one, two, three, and the next one's coming in on the two. Yeah. And so, it, so yes, the beats are together, but it doesn't sound right because the computer no. can't do that. You can only do that with a human ear. Exactly, exactly. And another thing as well, there's an application out there by, um, by the software that I use. Um, I won't stop for these. I don't want to slay them because I love the software they produce. Yes. Um, it's a New Zealand-based company, but they'll give you ideas who I'm on about. Um, they released an app on the iPad um, to do to mix tracks. I, I think that's what it's about anyway. Right. So I always challenge stuff to see whether it can actually do it. So I'm very diverse in what I do. I mix old school hardcore and breaks. That's my favourite sort of stuff. Yeah. I mix on radio when I'm in the clubs and I do commercial sort of stuff. I can do. I can diversify between the both. Put some old school hardcore in it. It's like lost. Drum and right. bass, jungle, it's totally lost. It's so fun, right. seriously, trying to watch right. you do it. It cannot so I, do it for love nor money. I like you know? it. I, I, uh, that's, they used to play that at Trade, the old school hardcore. Do you know oh. the song by N NRG, He Never Lost His Hardcore? Do you know that one? Yeah. Oh, my God. And yeah. I Need Your Loving, they done as well. That's, oh one, my that's one of my favourite. Um, and when I put that on... You know, I, I don't, I really don't listen to music or anything like that. Oh, do you know, I didn't put the number up there. Uh, when I listen to music and all that, I, d I don't really listen to music and that. But when I put that on, I can actually just be transported back to the 1990s when I used to go the trade. It's wonderful. 
you're so lucky, seriously. I wish, in a way, that I was old enough to do all that. Because at the end of the day, back in the day, I heard, like, in the 90s, when all the rave scene was coming up, that it was phenomenally amazing. In a sense, that everyone wanted to enjoy themselves, as opposed to being, not saying everyone is, but everyone's very, very pretentious uh, these days. Do you know what I mean? And very, yeah, very self-obsessed yeah. and taking selfies and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Not, no, there was you, no... You, there were, well, we didn't you know? have... No, there were no mobile phones. We didn't have mobile no. phones. We just got on the dance floor and we danced all night and it didn't matter. And, and, and that, that, that particular club was a real mi mishmash of so many different types of people, all sorts of people. And it didn't matter what you did or what you looked like. You just danced all night long and, and it was wonderful. Now the bloody phones are out half the time. Yeah. You know, I've, I've had shows on the stage before and then people standing at the front of the stage with their cameras not taking photos of the people on the stage but positioning it so that they are in front of the people on the stage so it looks like they're having a, and they just do this all the yeah. time all the time rude rude, but rude they don't, exactly they exactly. don't see it as rude. this is the thing they don't see it as rude no. they don't see it as rude you see jay Never no, mind, this culture, no. just selfie culture, it just drives me mad. Do you know what oh. I mean? Like when I'm out in Rochester, and my, um, one of the bars part of the group I work for, I stand with my mate. Why? But when I wasn't working, Saturday night, I'll go down on a Saturday well, night. Something to do. That's funny you, know, you bring up the subject of selfies. In the Daily Mail today, and I've got this story ready to read, so I'll do it now. When people pout for the camera and take a selfie, they may think they are looking their best. But if you want other people to find you attractive, it might be better to get someone else to take the picture. A study suggests... And I can... I can... I can connect with this actually photos taken by other people rather than ourselves are given higher ratings for attractiveness than the ones mm. we take ourselves uh, the authors suggest that they might that might be because people assume their selfie taker is vain and may dislike or disdain an individual self-promotion and my mate often um uh says that you know i might put a put a, a picture of myself up on Facebook or something like that. And he says mm -hmm. to me, that's not a very nice picture. Let me take one for you. And he does some. And then he shows mm. them to me. And I say, oh, I don't like the look of those ones. And he says, no, they're much better. And yet you can't see it yourself. Isn't that funny? Yeah, exactly. It's like um, I've got a picture of me uh, on my Facebook of me with uh, my friend who's uh, he does drag. He doesn't do it no more. A drag act called Safonda Cox. Right, and it's probably one of the best pictures of me, to be honest with you, that I've got. But yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's all mad anyway. Let's have a look. Anyway, which, listen, which... Ali Crackalack with hang your on a show. Hang Thank on a you minute, very much for me. Jay, Jay, hang yes. on a minute. Yes, what, yes. Let me just have a look at your Facebook. What is it, Jay? What? DJ Crucial, dear. Oh, is that what you're on here, as I can't remember now. Yeah, it's called my, my real name, dear. C-I-A-L. There you are. Instrude. Yes, dear. One moment, please. Is that the one you put up there? No, that's one, some sake of me, which I'm standing in the DJ stand. That's the, uh, in Chelmsford, that one that was taken. Oh, right. You've, you've got one with a brown jumper. Well, now, let me... I've looked through five... Or, I've, looked, I've now looked through 50 or 60 of your photos. And to be honest, I can't find a good one there. Lovely to talk to you, sir. All right. Look after yourself. Carry on with the DJ and ta da now. Yeah, babe, take yeah. care. Bye -bye. Down there in Strood in Kent, in, 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 in the Garden of England, that's Kent. Um, so there we are. Thank you very much for calling in. 020 Three four double seven. We're only with you for about another twenty minutes. Okay, we're doing an hour and a half tonight. O two o eight one double four three four double seven. I think Dean wanted to call in tonight, so if you want to call in, Dean, uh, there is a line now available. Please call in now. O two o eight one double four three four double seven. Um, let's have a look here. Right now, where am I going for now? It's funny, actually, you know, you come back on holiday. It does take you a while to get back into everything, doesn't it? You know, so today I completed everything that I wanted to do. The washing, it's all dried nicely on the line. Actually, while I was... Um, oh, come on, Dean. How many times do you want me to say that? I've said it about 10 times. It's at the, it's at the top of the screen. People don't pay attention, do they? You're not paying attention, Dean, dear. 
It's written at the top of this picture somewhere. It's on the YouTube. I've read it out every few minutes, and you still don't know what the number is. Come on, you must be joking, dear. You must be joking. 020-8144-3477. God's sake. I mean, people don't pay attention. It's like these people, and I saw it again yesterday. Now, what was it yesterday? Oh, yes. Someone had reposted um, a thing. And, and you know, we've got all the, the stars and celebrities dying at the moment. All right. Hello, Dean. All right? Yeah, how are you? Right. Just stay there a second. I'm just, just doing a little story. I'll be with you in a second. All right? All right. Um, uh, yes. So uh, someone reposted a story yesterday of the death of um, Keith Harris. Who, you know, Keith Harris and Orville the Duck. Right? And they they said, oh, yes, you know, another one gone. What they failed to realise is that was a year ago. And I've noticed this now. People are reposting stuff because what they, they, they don't read the whole bloody story. That's the trouble, right? So they're reposting stuff that they see on the Facebook. Oh, let's let's share that. And they share quick and it's gone without even reading. And all this stuff is like one year, two years, three years. People died three years ago. And they're like, oh, no, not another one. Do get your stories right, dear. Dean, you weren't paying attention, were you, Dean? <laughs> Long time no here, Chris. I know. And you sound exactly as camp as you always did, dear. <laughs> Where are you living now, Dean? I'm living in Egham, I'm sorry. Oh, so you're quite close to me. Yeah, you live in Reading. What? No, I'm in Bracknell. Oh, you're in Bracknell. I'm even closer. Yeah. I'm even closer. Yeah. I often go for Egham if I'm coming back home on the A30. Because you know all those blooming roadworks they're doing on that M3 at the moment. Oh, Christ. I know, it's getting ridiculous, isn't it? it Do you just... know you were saying about photographs? Yes. Do you remember when I used to take photos for you when you had the um, when you DJ at the Black Cat? You were quite surprised by him, weren't you? Um, what was that about? What do you mean? It was that people were doing karaoke, and I said, "You give me your camera," and I was taking photos. Do you oh right, that? yes, yes, yes. Do you remember that all that? I do. Yes. Have you got them then? I haven't got any. No. You sent me one uh, um, a few a while back of me sitting down. Oh, right, yeah. Well, that will yeah. be on my photos. They're, they're in there somewhere. I mean, if someone was to say to me, um, and it actually does happen quite often, oh, you took a photograph of me in 1994. Have you still got it? Well, yeah, it'd be on the Facebook. Do you know where it is? No. Go through them all <laughs> yourself. You think I've got time to sit here going through reels and reels of photographs on my Facebook or on my computer? No, find it your bloody self, you lazy bastards. What's wrong with these people, dear? I'll tell you what was funny. Do you remember that time I walked in one night and I said to hello, and you said, you said hello um, earlier on today, and that bloke looked like me. Do you remember? Oh, now, who was that? His name's, I think his name's Dan. I can't remember who it was now, but yes. Yeah, he, was, he, he was like a bit embarrassing. He's like looking in the mirror. Oh, I've been, I've been talking. I've been, I've been talking to people for years that I don't know. Uh, you know, you know what happens now, Dean. It wouldn't happen to you. I know, I know who you look. I, I know what you look like, and I know who you'd, you'd be. But um, what often happens now is people. Where I've been? Eh? I was <laughs> what? I was good when I worked at the Black Cap. What, what's that got to do with it? Good well, being good. I was. In, I was good when I when I was at the Black Cap. I was good. I was never rude. Yes. And I kept away from the toilets. Well, what, what has this got to do with the bit of conversation I'm about to go into? Go on, then. <laughs> I get people coming up to me now. Hello, yeah. Chris, how are you? And I'm like, oh, hello, hello, it's really nice. And I haven't got a clue who they are. Yeah. Because so much time has passed, you know, and so many people in between. And you, exactly. you kind of forget who they are. There are a few people that I'd like to... um. Uh, connect with again, really. Uh, one, one is Lorraine. Do you remember Lorraine? Lorraine? Lorraine. Um... She was a big girl, in and out of Holloway, I think she was most of the time. But she was really <laughs> nice to me, and she would pop into the black cap now and again. Uh, yeah. m most nights, actually, and she'd be there all the time. Um, Shahid, did you know Shahid? Asian guy? Yes. Brit British Asian. Oldish guy. No, no, he looked like, he looked like Jesus. <laughs> he had long no. black hair. Lovely man. Lovely man. Uh -huh. And there's a few people I'd like to connect with again, Dean. You know, it's the uh, same here. There's loads of them. I, I've got a few of them on um, 
my Facebook. Yes. Um, that I used to hang around with when I used to come in. Right. And things like that. But, yeah, it's sort of... Um, no, it's a shame about the Black Cat closing. Well, yeah, it's... Uh, they, they still say they're trying to... Um, uh, get it reopened as it was. Um, good luck to them. They they try really hard. They yeah, have they, vi- you know they they deserve you know that place has been open for many years. Yes, they have vigils outside the Black Cab every Saturday. Uh, another company has 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 actually bought it now, um, yeah. and they're trying to um, uh, get it reopened as as kind of what it was. If you see okay. what I mean. I don't know how successful they're going to be with that, really. Well, that might be another DJ place for but you. But they don't, they don't give up. Don't give up. They, they do really wonderful things down there well, with the vigils. Yeah, because um, I spoke to Smithy the other week, and, you know, I think he's a bit downhearted over it. Yes, well, not right. a lot you can do. Well, do you work now? What do you do now, then, Dean? Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> so why is that, then? Are you a prison officer? Huh? Are you a prison officer? No. I do. If I told you, I would have to tell you on your own. It's oh, okay. Then we'll keep keep it secret, dear. Keep it secret. <laughs> I get. I'm in a lot of contact with high people, but I can't tell you. Oh, high I, people I, like the Queen. Is mm. there any chance that she might be interested in coming round to my little studio and doing an interview? Uh, yeah, you could get you get a Queen. No, the Queen, dear. Are you having another conversation with someone else? No, I was just just looking at saying, sorry. So, where's, um, you do the karaoke now? Uh, well, it depends what night. Tomorrow night at the, um, Central Station in, uh, in King's Cross, that's tomorrow. I, I've been Central Station for years. Oh, well, it's tomorrow night, 8 till 11.30, upstairs, of course. Upstairs, because that downstairs is closed, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it closed a while ago. It works a lot better now, actually, with just the upstairs open, because it's busier all the time. And um, But tomorrow, it's quite an early one, 8pm to 11.30 tomorrow. I love it there. That is the closest you will get to the Black Cap Central Station. Absolutely. That's the closest, atmosphere-wise, that you can get to the Black Cap, Dean. I'll tell you what, though, if... That re- if the Black Cap reopened, I'd be, I'd be the first to go in there. I know you would. I know you would. Do you like it in Egham? Huh? Do you like it in Egham? Yeah, it's quiet. Are you near the um, university, yeah? Um, no, I'm near the train station. All oh, right. I did, I, did, um, I did a karaoke at a pub there on the, co- on the corner. Can you remember what's it called? Yeah. Um, on the corner. I'm yeah. I think of it now. As you come round the corner, it is. Is it uh, like a small little bar? It's got a large outside. Hang on. I'll try and remember. Pubs in Egham. Let's have a look, see if I can find... The Crown. That was it, The Crown. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I think it was the last August bank holiday I did in there. Oh, what, last year? Yeah, that went all right. That all right. That went all right. Peter wants is to know it? if I've been back to heaven. Uh, yeah, I DJ'd at heaven. That was about that yeah, was about eight years ago. No, I, don't, I haven't been back there since. No. With your shirt off, wouldn't it? Oh, I can't do that now. I'm too fat now, Dean. <laughs> I used to DJ with my shirt off. That's right. I <laughs> know. Oh, I'm forty this year. I can't believe it. Are you really, yeah. Christ? And when wait, I first walked into the black cap, I was nineteen. Wait till you get to fifty-three, like me, my friend. <laughs> Got a while to go yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, well. Nice to you, Chris, anyway. Lovely to talk to you, Dean, yes. And you I must tell you. me what job you do. Send me a private message. I will. All right, cheerio I now. Do. All right, mate. Bye-bye, Dean. Bye. There we are, lovely to talk to people. I haven't spoken to him for, my God, about 15, 16 years as well. Isn't it wonderful doing this and being able to talk to people again after all that time? Wow, wow. Um, I was just saying, yeah, it's quite nice you come back off your holiday and you've always got all these things to do, haven't you? A bit of hoovering, a bit of cleaning. Managed to do all my washing yesterday. I hung it out. And of course, we'd had such a lovely day today. Today, today, I have to tell you, I was in my... Fortunately, it's a private garden. 
You know, if Japanese tourists had been walking past with harpoons, I would have been in serious trouble because today, for the first time this year, I sat in the garden with my top off, boys and girls. I mean, it's not a pretty sight anymore. <laughs> I am. I'm, ju I'm actually just a bit under 13 stone. I've lost a bit of weight. Daniel said, stop eating too many cheese and onion crisps. I haven't had crisps now for a few weeks or bread. Because I've been having a little bit of an acid reflux problem. And we think that's... <laughs> thank you, Peter. We think that's the reason. But um, I, I have managed to lose... I think I've lost about three pounds. Uh, but I now... I, I have a new problem now. A new problem. Ice cream. I, can't, I seem to have replaced the bread and the crisps with ice cream. And you know, like... Um, I quite like carte d'or. It's about... It's about if you can get two for five pounds at the moment in Waitrose, it's so big that one of those tubs is so big. And in a day, I can have half to three quarters of that tub. In fact, when I finish this program in about 10 years time, uh, sorry, 10, well, I can go on for 10 years if you want. Oh, talking of which, just a minute, I pulled something out of one of the magazines today. I, I, you know, I've got all this prepared here in case no one, no one, um, <laughs> no one rang in. Here we are. Look at this. Now, what a shame I didn't know about this. This was in the Today's Daily Mail magazine, right? And it's about Gloria Honeyford. Do you know Gloria Honeyford? She's a one. I like her. Oh, good old Gloria Honeyford. And uh, she says, I once won a talking contest at a school non-stop for 11 hours. She spoke for 11 hours non -stop. I mean, it puts my hour and a half to shame, doesn't it? To be honest. Do you reckon I could sit here and talk? Do you want me to carry on for until, like, 6 o'clock in the morning? Could I go for that long? That's, that's the question. Probably not, because I can't leave to go down and have a cup of tea unless I play, like, a minute, you know, a couple of minutes music, and then that's cheating. No. You've got to carry on. You've got to just keep talking and talking and talking, haven't you? I do wonder how some of these people on the radio do it. But, to, you know, to be quite honest, when people are calling in, it's it's not difficult. I don't find it difficult at all. The very fact that you're calling in, I'm looking at my clock in front of me and it tells me I've done an hour. We've done we've sat in now for an hour and 22 minutes. An hour, and, and it doesn't seem like that because I've had such a nice time talking to you, you see. If I had to talk with bits of news stories and all that, I, I can do that as well because, as you know, we do the day. And Gary's still there! Gary, you surely you haven't watched the whole of this rubbish today, Gary. I cannot believe that. DJ Crucial's got an idea. What's your idea, DJ Crucial? Go on, tell us what it is. Get a butler. Gary Butler, yeah. I could have a butler here, couldn't I? I'm gonna have someone. I could have a. I could have my nephew Jimmy Butler answering the phones here. The trouble is, there'd be a girl ring up, and he'd just be going on to her. And he go, "All right, babes." That's my nephew. All right, babes. I, and I have to tell you, my my nephew Jimmy is a Chelsea football supporter. I hope he's not one of those hooligan type people. We are Chelsea, we are Chelsea, we do what I. I saw the chanting. We do what we want. We do what we want, or something like that. For a laugh, I will be your product. Well, I'd, the thing is, having a production assistant, you know, you could hand me, you, you'd have to be shouting in my ear things to talk about and stuff like that. Now, that, that you just make the tea now and again. That's right, crucial. That's a good idea. Anyway, um, Gloria Honeyford, where is it now? Um, they were doing one of those question and answer sessions with her. What are you best at? And she says, talking. When I was at school, I won a talking competition and talked nonstop for 11 and a half hours. What would you like to be better at? Sport. I told my husband recently that I always came last in sporting events at school. Oh, me too. Me too. Although, in my fifth year at school, because I wasn't really, I've never really been a sporty person. I quite like, I go swimming most days. I do, we had a, oh, there was a lovely swimming pool at that Avon holiday place. Oh, it was lovely. And because it was so quiet, we went in one morning, there's no one else in there. No one else in there. Which meant, because they're very funny about taking pictures, aren't they? Oh, you're not taking, oh, you can't, oh, no, you can't take any pictures in there. You might secretly take pictures of children. 
Oh, for God's sake. And it's all, it's all a bit like that. And that's everywhere. It's not just in swimming pools. But fortunately, there was no one else in the pool. So they've got all these signs up, you know, no pictures. I said, excuse me. I said to the bloke, I said to the bloke, um, as there's no one here, <clears throat> can you... I, no, I can't do that today, Crucial, because there's actually four, there's three cameras on me. I can't turn them all at the same time. I, give, I have given tours of the studio before. I'll do another one in, in one of the recorded shows, OK, that it'd be easier to do. Um, there's all these signs. So I said to the bloke, do you mind if I take a picture? He said, yeah, no problem. There's no one else in here. He said, but if anyone else comes in, just keep the camera away from them. Thank you very much. So we're actually able to do a little bit of filming. And I picked up my camera. Well, I say camera, iPhone. I've got an iPhone 5S. That's, that's, my, that's how I do most of the shows, the iPhone 5S. <clears throat> and... Um, I actually took the camera into the swimming pool with me and that was a really good effect to be kind of in the water and moving around with the camera at the same time. That that was good. That was really good. So we were able to do that. Beautiful swimming pool in that Haven Holiday though place. And um, that, But do have a look. Please, please, if you've never been in a caravan, it's worth a go. It really is. Look them up. Haven Holidays. And there's another one I want to try. Devon. Now, Devon, that would be a, a very long way for the rest of my family to come. You'd be looking at an eight-hour drive. But to me, it's only three. It's about three hours and ten minutes from here to get to Devon, which is actually the same as me going over to Norfolk because I'm kind of halfway in between. And this, this holiday place in Devon, it's right on top of a cliff. And you look over and you can just see the sea. Beautiful, beautiful. So I think I'd like to try that one as well. I might go to that one on my own. I don't think it'd be too much of a problem. Do you sort of person on their own going on a family holiday place? You go, you know, sort of low season when there's not too many people around. And you can just do, do, do your own sort of thing there, can't you? So there we are. Now, um, how are we doing? I think we're going to have to leave it there. Yeah, we're going to leave it there because otherwise I'll get cut off. If I don't finish before um, the Facebook allotted time, I shall be cut off anyway. So we'll leave it there. Thank you very, very much for joining me again uh, on this Sunday night. I don't know when we're going to do another live one. I don't have a, a, a night off for a while now, boys and girls. I, I, I was lucky to have two. I just happened to have two in a row off. So we did one last night and one tonight. Of course, the recorded shows carry on. If you're not uh, uh, with me on Facebook, uh, you don't necessarily have to become a friend, but become a follower and you can see all the uh, sort of almost daily little videos that uh, that I do here. It's facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK, facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. And the videos also go up on YouTube. My YouTube is youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK, youtube.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK. If you click, click the subscribe button on there and you're signed up to like the email thing, I think you get an email every time um, I do uh, a new show. OK, now, if you're around in the London area uh, tomorrow, here's where I'll be. Uh, I'll be hosting karaoke on Monday and Tuesday. Now, tomorrow night, Monday, Bank Holiday Karaoke will be at Central Station in Wharfdale Road in King's Cross. That starts at 8 p.m., finishes at 11.30 p.m., and it's cheap drinks on a Monday night there as well. It's a lovely night. You'll also get to see some of our wonderful characters that we have there. Uh, you can meet Roy. You can meet Ray Reynolds um, and, and people like that. It's just a wonderful place. Uh, Tuesday... I'm in Camden Town on Tuesday. That's another karaoke night. That's at the Golden Lion in Royal College Street on Tuesday night. That one starts at 9pm and finishes at 12 midnight. Nice little Irish family pub there. You'll like that one. And on Wednesday, I'll be hosting a quiz night back at the King's Head Theatre Bar in Upper Street in Islington. That one starts at 8.30. Good idea there to um, ring ahead actually, and book a table because it gets very, very busy there. Once again, quiz night at the King's Head Theatre Bar in Upper Street in Islington. Starts at 8.30. Get there for 8 o'clock. Book a table first. Ring ahead and book a head table, OK? Look it up. King's Head Theatre Bar in Upper Street, Islington. Thanks so much, boys and girls. I shall leave you there. Have a lovely time, and I'm sure I'll see you again tomorrow for another little chit and chat. Bye-bye now.